the chicken pox virus. So a parent sent me this video asking what antibiotics she should use. The truth is that chicken pox is not caused by bacteria, but by a virus. Called varicella zoster, known medically as varicella, and as such, antibiotics don't work for chicken pox. Chicken pox is a highly contagious viral infection, causing an itchy, fluid-filled blisters that eventually turn into scabs. Chicken pox is highly contagious to those who haven't had the disease or been vaccinated against it. Even vaccinated people, like this children, still came down with chicken pox. The illness is often more severe in adults compared to children. Most people who have had chicken pox will be immune to the disease for the rest of their lives. However, the virus remains inactive in nerve tissue and may reactivate later in life causing shingles. Very rarely, a second case of chicken pox does happen. How it spreads? Chicken pox can be spread indirectly by touching contaminated items freshly soiled, such as clothing, from an infected person. Direct contact with the blisters of a person with chicken pox or shingles can cause chicken pox in a person who has never had chicken pox and has not been vaccinated. It's spread quickly and easily from someone who is infected. By airborne respiratory droplets, coughs or sneezes. By saliva, kissing or shared drinks, utensils. By skin-to-skin -skin contact, handshakes or hugs. By touching a contaminated surface by mother to baby by pregnancy, labor, or nursing. It is usually self-diagnosable, meaning that you don't have to be a doctor to confirm or diagnose chickenpox. The most characteristic symptom is an itchy, blister-like rash on the skin. Once diagnosed, manage the symptoms such as headache, fever, with over-the-counter medicines like paracetamol. Itchness use calamine lotion, phenergan. New spots can appear while others are becoming blisters or forming a scab. Once a person gets the infection, they simply have to wait out the process as their body overcomes it.